I'm Mike from St. Thomas Economic Development here with a chilly update from the St. Thomas mega site. So we're inside the new booster pumping station uh, on Yarmouth Yards. It's going to bring the water pressure up and we're joined with a very special guest. Uh, Trevor, how's it going? Good, good. How are you? Doing very well. Trevor, tell us who you are and what you do. Uh, we are uh, Heyman Construction. We are the general contractor on site. Uh, we are looking after the booster station. So we've got uh, ourselves and we've got multiple sub trades that are uh, working with us. So trying to put this thing together. And it certainly looks like it's coming together. Um, looking around, this is a, quite a large space on the inside here. It's very echoey, as you can maybe hear. Um, there's a few kind of interesting features in here. I was wondering if you could kind of take us through a few things. I see a big crane up here. I see some uh, some pumps and some crates down there and a big pipe over there. What are we looking at in this building? Yeah. So to start with, uh, obviously, the big overhead crane that's went in, it's, uh, it's going to be able to lift the pumps in and out of the building if something goes wrong or for install or replacements and so on down the line. Um, so that's going to be up and running, commissioned here in the next couple of days. Uh, down below, we've got a 1200 inlet that is going to feed, that is going to feed this plant. And uh, actually on the far side, we've got a 900 where it's going to outlet and, and start heading out towards where it needs to go. As far as everything else around here, we've got inside the double opening there, we've got uh, electrical room with all the VFDs and all the stuff that's going to feed the pumps and look after that kind of side of things. Uh, and then underneath the tarping, we've, uh, prior to the roof going on, we've brought in the pumps and any of the heavier equipment so that way it was in prior to the big stuff, the roof and so on going on. Uh, it's it's looking really good in here, honestly. So this is a quite a big pipe, I understand, as far as goes pipes. Yeah, it's it's quite uh, it's quite the size. Um, obviously, they're not always that big, but it's got to feed uh, the area, and this is what uh, the designers came up with. So, uh, how will the pumps be laid out in this pump house? Uh, there's going to be four pumps in a row. Um, they're going to be about midway. Uh, kind of see the uh, fan kind of span down the middle. There's going to be four pumps and then there's also a fifth one for a future for down the road. Okay, for future expansion. Always good to be planning ahead. Absolutely. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us. Thanks for all your hard work on this project. It's great to see this uh, moving ahead. It's a critical part of the infrastructure here. So uh, we're glad to have guys like you working on the job. Thank you very much. And uh, it's always great to work with uh, Good guys besides, we've got Nathan from St. Thomas, he's looking after the joint, as well as we've got Arcadis and some of the other good groups that are making this all happen. Uh, and hey, I wanted to say as well, a great choice of work boots. I noticed that we've got uh, uh, basically identical work boots. Are those, is that a size 12? That's a size 14. Size 14, oh, very nice. I don't know, that's gotta be like an 18 custom order special. Yeah, I don't know. Is this sponsored by uh, Timberland? <laughs> <laughs> if only, Timberland, if you're watching, we'll happily take some, uh, some free work boots. Uh, but anyway, thanks again for talking to us uh, and uh, we can't wait to see uh, this project when it's completed. Appreciate it, thank you very much. Like and subscribe on YouTube and stay tuned for another little update coming soon.